wherever in the world you join us today for this F1 qualifying session here in Shanghai, China. This is a track that tends to ask quite a lot of the tyres, both front and rear. So is it fair to say a great deal of management will be needed in order to do well here? Tyre wear will probably be the dominating factor around this track. It's so easy to use up the life in your tyres as you seek to find the lap time. If you have a good balance to begin with, like the Mercedes and Red Bull, you'll always stand a better chance. Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of my F1 2017 career. As you can see, we are in China at the Shanghai Grand Prix, and we have just started Q1, so we're on to our flying lap. So taking the first bend a little bit onto the curb there, and going a little bit wide. But it's a long, 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 long right-hander, and then into a left. Just touching the grass there, not the cleanest of uh, corners at all, but uh, it's a slow enough one that we can kind of get away with it a little bit. So onto the straight, uh, that's going to be a bit of an issue for us today as we go into the right-hander here, because uh, we are probably the worst car for pace, and the straights are just going to absolutely kill us. Thankfully, there are a lot of uh, a lot of like corners and some slow ones, which we can make up a bit of time. But uh, the, them straights may be a big, big issue. But we're doing all right at the moment. Uh, coming up to this bend, let's see, oh, a little bit wide there, just onto the green Astro. But uh, we're still doing okay. Uh, we're currently P3 overall on the splits. Go a little bit wide there, but kind of correct it. Get ourselves back online and uh, doing okay. So come on. Let's see, can we can we make it into Q2 again, maybe even Q3, and uh, get a good qualifying position like we did in the last race, and hopefully not mess up as much. Uh, but we're doing all right. Uh, coming on the long straight, as I said, it's the big issue for us. Into the right-hander, big U-turn, and then back up a little straight. Uh, it's, a, it's a good lap, I like the Shanghai circuit, just the car's not the best for it. And onto the pit straight now, coming up towards the finish line, and uh, it's P4 at the moment. So not, not too bad, guys, not too bad at all. So there you go, end of qualifying one, guys. We're currently in eighth place. So I'm pretty happy with that, easily, comfortably into uh, Q2. Let's have a look how our teammate did, and he's down at the bottom, guys. We've beat our teammate quite comfortably there. He's in 20th. But we're underway again, Q2, off on our flying lap, out pretty early, as we, do, we have a habit of doing. I like to get out, as I said in the last episode, nice and early, get ourselves a clean track but as you can see on the uh, mini map there's quite a few cars out as well so uh could be an interesting one if we come up against a little bit of traffic well so far so good we're doing okay nicely took the first few bends this time and then down to the tight right hander we've got a little bit wide but we've done all right coming back in so a little bit of a straight there onto a long left hander taking it nicely there and then into the slower right, but it's also a long one. Uh, it's, as I said, quite a lot of turns in this uh, Shanghai uh, Grand Prix circuit, but as I said, that could be to our advantage. It's these parts I don't like, guys, the straights. They are going to kill us, because cars will just fly up after us. And there you go, Daniel Ricciardo has got the fastest lap so far. He's currently P1 in Q2. Uh, we're coming round the long left, uh, so right hander onto the uh, long straight. Oh, what a long straight it is, it's so long, guys. But we're going to get a bit, bit of help with the DRS, thankfully, and uh, get ourselves down this straight. We'll be there eventually, sometime in the next century, probably, seeing we are in a properly bad car. And I messed up big time on the braking there, but managed to get straight back on track. I don't think we lost too much time. Taking the final turn there, nice and neat, onto the uh, kerb, just bring it in just before the grass, and uh, currently P2, surprisingly, and at the end of Q2, finishing P6, so we are going to be at the top of the grid, guys, in at least P10, so I'm happy about that, at least, at least 10 places ahead of our teammates, come on. You've got to give me that first driver one pretty soon. So, on to Q3, guys. Going out again for the flying lap. As you can see, the sun's coming down. It's 
It's glaring quite badly onto the air circuit as we were going up that uh, pit straight onto turn number one. But uh, we managed to do it alright. There's a little bit of traffic ahead of me as well, so I'm not too thrilled about that. But uh, let's see, he's far enough ahead, I think we, we won't really interfere with each other. Hopefully, not anyway. We don't want to be coming up to his dirty air. Uh, taking this tight right hander, doing it quite nicely. This is probably our cleanest lap so far. Uh, it's not saying much because uh, <laughs> we only have three laps. So, but coming up to this bend, nice and tight again. Keeping it nice, holding it nice, up in fifth gear, then the slower left hander down to third, into another left hander. We go up into fourth, accelerate up that straight, coming up to a slow left, and then a long right. So we go a little bit, little bit tight in there, too uh, too tight for my liking to be honest. Lost a few tenths at least there. And uh, onto the long straight again. As I said, keep saying, I will keep saying it, it is a nightmare having this long straight for us, it really is. But at least in qualifying we have DRS every single time, so it does help us a little bit to get close to 200 miles per hour. And we go a little bit deep in there, I haven't to use the tarmac a bit there, thankfully it's there. Otherwise we would have been off into whatever was there, the grass, the gravel, whatever. And last bend, coming up to the finish line, throw that DRS in and... What the? Am I reading that right, guys? P1. What? And as we came, I can't believe this. Q3, guys. We're sitting on pole. We are going to be on pole for the Chinese Grand Prix in Shanghai. What the actual? I don't know. Oh, wow. But here we go. We get the resource points. Rivalry update. We should get a few points for that. Couple of points, Qu completed qualifying, yes for us, no for them. We're five seconds faster than Ericsson. What the, I have no idea, no idea. But team approval has gone up, other teams are looking at us favourably as well, so that's all good. Um, we've got a little message from the agent. So they want us to finish 14 for higher. Should be doable and finish well, ahead of Marcus. Drivers today, although with the sky falling as it is, perhaps sailing isn't too far from the truth. And Anthony Davidson could be a wet one today. Great to have you with us. What are your thoughts? It is a touch damp, isn't it? Or as a driver, there are three big things to worry about when racing in these kind of conditions. Standing water, tyre temperature and visibility. Judging distance to the cars around you is really tricky when you're driving through the vast amounts of spray that these wet weather Pirelli tyres kick up. We're almost ready to go then, and this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. It's Sauber in pole position then, and it's Lewis Hamilton alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, and Ricardo, Verstappen, Massa, Perez, and Roman Grosjean, Holkenberg, Ocon, Kevin Magnussen, and Sainz. Stroll, Kvyat, Fernando Alonso, and Jolian Palmer. Van Dorn and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Well, as you can see, there's our race strategy, guys. It's a wet day here in Shanghai. So we've got the intermediates on. Looks like a one stopper. Waiting for the lights to go out. And there we go. We're underway, guys. A bit of wheel spin, a lot of spray. And <laughs> we've just been split in half by the two Mercedes Bottas and Hamilton coming up to the first bend and we've lost a place at least. We're trying to get it back. Got a little bit wide. We're getting forced wide as well. Uh, can we get the inside line? A little bit of contact with Bottas. Doesn't really leave us the room. He should have. And then Hamilton coming up on our outside as well. Can we close him off a little bit? I think we have. We've got that space. Don't give him much. Oh! And he's touched us, he's touched us. Hamilton, what are you doing? Oh my word. Straight into the barrier and... Uh, that's that's us going down the ranking. Safety cars straight out as well, guys. Hamilton, what are you doing? Jesus Christ. Oh, so, coming up to the end of the first lap, guys. And we're under safety car. Alonso's just overtaken us under safety car. What the? What what is going on there? Why why is it not telling them to give us our pace back? 
no clue. And Kvyat as well. Right, I'm, I'm getting my places back. Right, we'll take him here on this bend. Uh, return. Oh, you're kidding me. That, that is ridiculous. They take overtake us, but we can't get our place back. Anyway, we're going in the pits anyway. We've lost our front wing. So, let's go in. Get that sorted. We're still ahead of Hamilton. No idea what he was doing. Pushing us over like that. Ridiculous from Lewis. I have no idea what he was thinking. But drop down to 19th. Oh, we need a new nose fitting. I'm not happy. I'm not not happy, guys. That that is ridiculous. We, we we had the space. You know he should have backed off, but no. He decides I'm going to push in. He just pushes us over and into the air. Barrier. So we've got our new nose, got some new tyres, and we've got out ahead of Lewis Hamilton. Uh, that would be the last we see of him though today. So still under safety car. We've caught up to the pack, guys, on lap three. Safety car will be going back in and we'll be getting back into a bit of racing. So we've moved up to 18th, guys. Uh, someone has retired. I can't remember rightly who it was, but someone's gone out of the race. Uh, but we're right up behind our teammate Marcus Erickson. And just in front of him is Van Dorn. So a load of them have just flew into the way. What is going on with this game? And it's Palmer who's out, but they've just all flew into the pits, we've just come off safety. What is going on? What is going on? But we flew back up and into 11th place now, guys. Crazy. So, lap four, we're coming up, overtaking Van Dorn, taking him on the inside, and he thankfully doesn't fight it and uh, lets us go back in. And we're into the top 10 again, trying to chase down Kvyat, and get close to him. Not quite, a little bit too far away. Uh, he's just going to accelerate away now, watch. We'll just fly up that straight. We're just losing so much ground there, and they're going in the pits. Okay, how many cars have just flew in the pits again? We're going to go to like first place here, aren't we? We're third on the grid. What? What is going on? What is going on? Ooh, we're slipping. Um, I think... It's drying out, guys. I think it's drying out. Hence why Bottas, who's now behind us, is on softs. Right, time to go in, guys. We need to get them softs. We're slipping and sliding. Look, Bottas has caught us up. He's been in for the pits as well, and he caught us up straight away. We're getting Vettel and everyone flying past us. <sighs> we should have come in earlier, guys. We've got them soft tyres. Hindsight is a wonderful thing, guys. It really, really is. So we're going to drop back down the other again. Here we come. Give us them softs, boys. Let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. And out we go. And we're in 19th place. It would have been 20th for Palmer's out. That is a big, big mistake, guys. Big mistake. But we've caught up with Grosjean by lap 7. So, uh... Not too bad. Can we get a look in there? No, we're all over his gearbox, but he's going to shoot away again as soon as we get to the straight. Off he goes. See you later, Grosjean. It was nice, nice seeing you for a few minutes. But actually, we can underbrake him here, get the inside. Can we keep it? Can we keep it? Yes, we can. Grosjean back behind us. He might have had the pace on the straight, but underbraking into the bend, we are superior. So here we are on the straight. Thankfully, it's only our teammate Ericsson, so we had DRS. We managed to fly up the inside of him, go a little bit hard into that bend, and do block off Marcus. So we've got Van Dorn ahead of us now, and he's pretty similar to us, so it takes us a little bit to come up to behind him. We do go a little bit wide though on turn one, and we're off into the grass, and both Ericsson and Grosjean retake their places. So not a great first there, uh, bend there on lap number eight, drop back down to 19. And it's took us a fair bit of the lap to uh, catch up, but Van Dorn is out. He's retired, so we're back up to 18. We take the inside there against Ericsson. Just close the gap there as well. Don't let him back in, and we're up behind Rojon now. So we're looking at that 16th place. We need to at least get to 14th, guys. We really do. At least we're ahead of our teammate. That's a good thing. 
And break, break, break. Oh, I thought we were going to go flying into the back of Grosjean there. That would have been disastrous. We've already used one wing today. We don't want to have to get another one. So all over the back of him. Can we go on the outside? No, we've got to come back because Ericsson was having a little look there. On the outside again. Can we make it? Can we? Can we? Can we? Yes, we're ahead of Grosjean. There we go. So we just about stuck that around the outside. I was a bit nervous that uh, our teammate Ericsson was going to counter and come round. There we are on lap 12 now behind Kubiat and there he is again guys, that guy, Lewis Hamilton, he's ahead of us. So we're coming up again behind Kubiat, same spot we got earlier and oh, we did not break in time, smack into the side of Lewis Hamilton. Bit of payback there for you buddy, that's what happens when you push me off the track. I'm going to come back at you aggressively buddy, I really am. So we've got DRS on the straight but Lewis is just going to fly away from us. So, Hamilton up there, three-man battle ahead of us with Carlos Sainz. I'm not sure who the other driver is. It's a three-way battle. We're going to get DRS going on the outside past Sainz. It's Hamilton and Alonso battling there. Can we get up there? We're going to go too wide. Almost through there. And can we get them under braking and get this, get this manoeuvre done? Triple overtake on the straight and bend, guys. Can you believe it? Oh, my word. We just took Lewis Hamilton, Alonso out of this race that was beautiful I, I enjoyed that i really did but we're on the straight now guys and coming up to the turn and of course lewis pushing us over he's battling with us again it is a battle of the brits guys lewis and me we are not getting on we are not friends we are really not guys so we're trying to get a slipstream but he's just too far ahead can we get him on the inside no not quite can we we're trying to not connect with him this turn but here he comes on the inside, we're trying to close him out. Can we get that line? We've got the line. Can we do it onto the inside? Yes, he's dropped behind us. We're back in front of Lewis Hamilton for at least a couple of seconds because we are now on the pit straight. And hey, Lewis, see you later with your lovely Mercedes engine, buddy. Ah, that's, that's just not fair. He's got too much power. Too much power, but we're in ninth place, guys. Lewis jumps into the pit, so we go ahead of him, back into 8th place. The pit window has it looks like there's a few of them in the pits as well, so we're jumping up the order. They're all going onto the medium tyre. Uh, we're still out on our softs, and uh, we're going to come in now on lap 16, uh, just behind Ocon. We are in for for a while, but uh, we could see the tyres were wearing. We were, we were, we were lapping a lot slower than we were earlier. And uh, the ones who had uh, pitted for the mediums were flying a lot quicker than we were. So I thought, right, we need to go and pit, guys. Let's go in. Let's get these tyres. But I thought, instead of the mediums, we'll go with the softs again, guys. So we can do that. See that it was raining earlier. And we can get ourselves out. We're coming out into uh, down into 12th place. And uh, we're just behind Arcon, he's on new tyres as well, so we go on the inside, we do alright there. And guess who's in front of us again, guys? That man, Lewis Hamilton. Come here, you. I've had enough of you today. But Hamilton and Perez having a little battle there. We're coming up behind them now, oh, sorry, Stroll, not Perez. Uh, coming up behind Hamilton's gearbox now. Little little love tap there, just saying, hi Lewis, remember me? And he uh, closed doors and he's off. Chasing Stroll, he, he's got me to contend with as well, so if he makes a mistake like this, can we get him on the inside? No, not quite. He didn't quite leave us the gap, and we didn't quite have the pace either. But we are up there with Lewis and Stroll's battle. We need to get that so we can get into the points. Lewis is in that last point position, but we're coming up to the straight now. They are just pulling away. We're going to get DRS now. So can we do it? Can we catch up? And Hamilton takes over Stroll. Stroll comes defensive now on me a little. But we go slow, under braking. Can we do it? Late break. Take that bend. Hamilton coming back round at us. I don't think we're going to quite get it, can we? Yes, Hamilton slots back in behind us as we come round the final bend. We've got a bit wide though because of Hamilton's presence. And uh, of course, he's going to take us straight away on this straight. <sighs> so back down into 11th. Oh, and Stroll does as well. I didn't see Stroll there. And we hit Stroll. And we spin off. Warning for collision with Stroll. That was purely my fault. I thought it was only Lewis there. Didn't realise Stroll had come up alongside as well. And I tried to sort of do a switch back behind Hamilton. And uh, unfortunately, Stroll was right there. So that was definitely my fault, guys. 
Uh, down in 14th though, lap 18, right up behind Carlos Sainz at the moment. And um, we're coming up to the final bend of the lap. So, can we do it? Can we get DRS? So, we might be able to do it on the straight. A little bit loose there on that last bend. Come on, let's do this. Can we catch him up? Not quite. So, lap 19. Grosjean battling back with us as well. He's caught us up and... Oh no, sorry, it's Kvyat. I thought it was Grosjean for some reason. So Kvyat has gone ahead of us. We've dropped down to 15th. We are struggling on these soft tyres. Can we get them on the inside? Get our place back here. A little bit of wheel contact there. Come on, let us in. There we go. We've, we've blocked them off and we have that 14th place back. That's the position our uh, owners of the team have said. We want you in 14th or higher. Well, 14th is where we are at the moment. But on the straight, of course, it's inevitable, guys. He's got he's got DRS as well. Oh, another little bit of wheel to wheel, to wheel action there. We get forced wide there. Very naughty from Kvyat. Then again, I've done it myself today. And he forces that position away from us. So drop down to 15 as we come up to end lap number 19. But we get the DRS now and uh, catch it up to Kvyat. Take him on the inside. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Lovely overtake there. Getting our 14th place back. But we are probably too far behind signs to uh, catch him up. So coming into the pits now, lap 25. As you can see, it's started raining again, guys. So we've come in. A lot of them are coming for the intermediates. And like Mechanic has decided, he wants wet. Really? I trusted the mechanic, I made that mistake in the last race and I've done it again. I need to check this before I uh, before I come into the pits guys. He's put me on wet, everyone else is on intermediates. This is not going to go well. I wonder what Ericsson will get, I bet he'll get intermediates won't he? So we're going to have to struggle on, there's only a couple of laps left. Right, it is starting to come down a bit heavier though, that, that could be to our advantage when we are in full wet. But, uh, doesn't look that way to be honest. We're seven seconds behind Grosjean now. And Alonso is flying. He's going to come up pretty close to us. Oh, Vettel. I didn't realise there was a blue flag there. So Vettel's come across. We are now technically on our last lap. And Alonso is flying. He is coming up behind us, guys. This, this is uh, going to be very tight. Thank you to Vettel for overtaking us because that could secure us 16th place. I know it's not what we want, but it's better than 17th, guys. It really is. So, as you can see in the mini map and possibly in my rear view, I think we've got a little glimpse of him. There he is. He's just coming up behind us, Alonso. Oh, this is going to be close. We need to go very, very, very defensive now, guys. And block them off as much as we can because we are so slow in these wet tyres. And on this straight, this is not good, guys. This is not good. I'm very low on the fuel mix. It's on minus at the moment. It's going to be close. It is really going to be close. Thankfully, we haven't got that extra lap, so we should be fine with the fuel. But Alonso is all over my gearbox at the moment. You need to get this right. Can we do it? Just about, yes. Come on, just, just that last, last corner. Keep him behind us, please. I can see him in my rear view. He's right there. I can see him. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Put your foot down. Oh, that was so close. Did we make it? We got the 16th. Oh, we got the 16th. Oh, that was too close for comfort, guys. Another excellent win from Ferrari. Anthony, what do you think made the difference here? Rain always has the potential to liven up a race and mix up the order, and they've taken full advantage of that to claim the victory today. It's always a bit of a lottery when the conditions are like this, but they've managed to stay on circuit and have come out on top. So, finished 16th, guys. Not really what we wanted. Uh, we, got, we got ahead of our... Our rival Ericsson got a couple of points. It's 11 to 4 now, so I'm happy with that. Our reputation has gone up a little bit. So, yeah, it's gone up a little. Not great, though. Not great. But anyway, hope you've enjoyed this, guys. If you have, smash that like button, and I'll speak to you again soon. Goodbye, guys.